Hey guys, this is Will Garcia Online. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to solve circuits using current dividers and voltage dividers. So before I previously covered how to solve the currents and voltages in a circuit by collapsing all the resistor networks. And it's not that we're not going to do that. We are going to use that in combination with the voltage division technique and the current division technique. Um, these are really handy little equations. Let me go ahead and write down a voltage divider for you uh, since we're going to start with finding VO first, which is the voltage over the 40 across the 40 ohm resistor. So if I have some voltage source and two resistors in series, R1 and R2, I can actually compute the voltage across R1 and the voltage across R2 using a simple formula, uh, which is really handy. It's kind of a shortcut method. So this is called the voltage divider. And V1 is going to be equal to R1 over the sum of R1 and R2 multiplied by the voltage source. So if we look at the circuit above, it looks like there's a whole bunch of resistors, and how are we going to get this to fit this small circuit that I've just drawn? Well, uh, if you watch the video that I have talking about collapsing resistor networks, we can actually do this very simply. So R1 we're going to treat as the 40 ohm resistor, and R2 we're going to treat as every other resistor in the circuit. So we're going to have to combine them all. But if you've been practicing combining resistors in parallel and series, this should really not take very long. So R2 is what we need to solve for uh, because we know our R1 is 40 ohms. So R2 is going to be equal to the series combination of my 50 ohm and my 10 ohm. I'm just going to combine those in series. That's in parallel with a 30 ohm. That's in parallel with a 20 ohm. And all of this is in series with that 70 ohm down below. So this is 60 in parallel with 30 in parallel with 20 in series with 70, which is going to be 20 in parallel with 20 in series with 70, which is going to be 10 in series with 70, which is equal to 80 ohms. So 80 ohms is my R2. So am I missing anything else to calculate my VO? Or in our voltage divider circuit, we've called V1. Actually, I have everything I need, so I can go ahead and compute it. So what's my R1 going to be? Well, R1 is going to be our 40 ohm. 40 over the sum of 40 and R2. And we've just found that R2 is 80 ohms. All multiplied by my voltage source, which in our case is 60 volts, which when you simplify, this is going to be 2400 over 120, which is equal to just 20 volts. Not too bad, huh? The hardest part was seeing all these resistors and thinking ahead and thinking I can combine all of those together and solve using the voltage divider method. So part two, we're going to solve for I2, going th which is the current going through the 30 ohm resistor. So I'm going to introduce another technique to you guys known as the current divider. And the current divider says if I have some current, I'll call it my current source or IS, and I have two resistors in parallel. This is in parallel this time, not in series like the voltage divider. I'll call this R1 and R2, and I'll call this I1, and I'll call this I2. The current going through R1 is, R is I1, and the current going through R2 is I2. Well, if I want to calculate this current 
that's getting split between these two resistors, some of it's going to go through R R1 and some of it's going to go through R2, I have a formula for that. So I1 is going to be equal to R2 over the sum of R1 plus R2 times my current source. Well, uh, again, does this look like anything we have above? Actually, it does. So I have a parallel resistor, which is my 20, a parallel resistor, which is my 30, and then another parallel, which is going to be 60, I'll call it. Well, this is going to be my source current coming into this parallel combination. I know what this current going through this is, which is going to be V over R which is simply 20 volts across that resistor divided by the resistor value and I get a half an amp. Entering this node here is half an amp coming in. Now it's being split. Some of it's going to go through the 20, some of it's going to go through the 30, and some of it's going to go through this 60. I don't know exactly how much yet, but I can easily figure out. So just like before, we're going to visualize this 30 ohm resistor as the current going through that as my I1. And we're going to throw everything else in the R2. So what do we got to do? We got to combine the 20 with a 60 to get R2. And the other resistor, 30 ohm, will treat as R1. So in this case, R2 is going to be equal to the parallel combination of 20 and 60, which is going to be fifteen ohms. So do I have everything I need? Well, I believe I do. I'm going to start off with my R2, which is fifteen. I'm going to multiply that by my current source, which I just found out was zero point five all over the sum of R1, which is 30, plus 15, which is 7.5 over 45, which I'm going to need to borrow a calculator for. I'm going to get 0 0.167 amps. So not too bad, huh? Using the voltage divider and the current divider, I can actually boil it down to two resistors in each case and then solve for the voltage or the current going through one of those resistors. Um, so now I need to find the power being dissipated in the 50 ohm resistor, which we know that power is equal to current times voltage or I squared R or V squared over R. Any of these are going to work. And I'm going to pick the easiest one because I'm lazy and I want to get the answer in the fastest, easiest way. So we'll use this in one second. So I need to know, let's see, do I know the voltage across this resistor? No. Do I know the current going through this resistor? I don't know the current either but I could probably very easily find it. So, let's see. Um, do we know this voltage here? V1 going, or I'll call it V2, keep my notation consistent here, going over the 30 ohm resistor. Well, V equals IR equals 0 0.167 times 30. Which, gonna, which is going to be equal to 5 volts. So I know that V2 is equal to 5 volts. So, hmm, I think I found a better way to solve this for you guys. Does that not look like a voltage divider to you guys? I have a voltage going across two series resistors. That looks exactly like a voltage divider. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to say that this is my first resistor, and this is my second resistor. 
and I have a known source voltage, which is V2, which I know is 5 volts. So, using this method here, solving for V1, I will call this V3, just to call it another voltage. V3 is going to be equal to R1, which is 50, over 50 plus 10, times my source voltage, which is 5, which is going to be equal to 250 over 60. And the answer to this problem, or this division, is going to be 4.167 volts. Well, let's see. Do I know the current? I don't. Do I know the current or the resistance? I don't know the current. I do know the voltage. I just saw for that. And I do know, do know the resistance, which... The power is going to be equal to V squared over R. So it's very simple. P3 is equal to V squared over R, or I'll call it V3 squared over R, which is going to be equal to 4.167 squared over 50, which is going to be equal to 0 0.347. watts so there you have it guys I actually found a better way to solve this than what I originally anticipated using the voltage divider and the current divider methods so if you guys have any questions feel free to either leave a comment down below uh, or email me or get in contact with me in some way and I'd be happy to explain it to you um, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to check out my other videos thanks guys